Hello everyone, uh, Bob here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the film Knives Out on 4K UHD Blu-ray. And the film is a whodunit directed by Ryan Johnson. It came out around Thanksgiving of 2019. And before we get to talking too much about the film, let's cover the technical aspects of the disc. Um, the film was, uh, it was filmed digitally and mastered in 2K. And that provided some lim limitations to them for this disc. It looks good, but it isn't um, the crispest disc in terms of the clarity and everything that you're, you're going to come across. Uh, you, they digitally added grain later to make the film look like it was shot on actual film stock, but it isn't. And so you do notice that once in a while. Um, there is, it is a clearer image with more detail than the Blu-ray that's included with it. But uh, the clarity and depth and all the extra textures that you get a lot of times with a 4K release, you're not gonna get that here. Um, the real um, advantage to this disc is has a Dolby Vision um, tr applied to it, so the colors really pop a lot more than they do. And sometimes the hues change significantly. Um, the bricks on the house have more of a burnt orange color to them now instead of just the drab look that they do on the standard Blu-ray and uh, you know just stuff like that. It's not anything that's going to be that you're not going to be blown away by the picture on this disc and likewise you're not going to be blown away by the sound on this disc. It's not that kind of a movie. Uh, or so it doesn't have this big bombastic soundtrack of a war film or an action film. Instead, you have atmospheric sounds. You have um, very crisp dialogue. You have uh, whenever they're in the mansion, there's people downstairs and someone drops something or you hear something that's going on upstairs. You hear that in the Atmos track, which the Blu-ray does not have an Atmos track. It just has a, a DTS Master Audio track, I believe. And... Uh, you uh, get that with the 4K, you get the Atmos track, and you get all that extra atmospheric noises and stuff that really add to it. Like I say, crisp, clear dialogue, the, the soundtrack to this, the audio, it services the film well. As for the film itself, um, like I say, it's a murder mystery. Um, Harlan Thrombey is a murder mystery novelist, and uh, so uh, it's I suppose you could say it's kind of fitting that he dies in the throes of a mystery. Um, the, you see uh, that Christopher Plummer plays that uh, novelist, and you see that the character's death. I mean, there isn't any question. They throw it right up there. You know exactly how he died. It's the conditions around it that um, keep you guessing as to how everything actually unfolded leading up to it, and, and for part of it even afterwards. But um, it works very well. It's a very fun movie. You get good performances from Daniel Craig as uh, Detective Benoit Blanc. Um, he does have an accent in this, but it isn't as uh, distracting as it is in the film Logan Lucky he's in. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, Michael Shannon, um, Chris Evans, they all come across good as being this snooty rich family they they all do a great job uh it's solid acting all the way around i would recommend this film to anyone who likes murder mysteries whether it's someone who uh watches the procedurals that are on tv or um they like the murder mysteries movies that we used to get more of but it seems like we don't get very many of those anymore and uh it's it was just fun to have a whodunit again uh video like I say, it's not the strongest in the world. It's seven and a half, but that's because of limitations to how the film was shot. Audio, I'm giving it to seven and a half again. The soundtrack's solid and, and services the film well. It's just, it's not the kind of bombastic sound that, um, that a lot of people like to listen to. This is not the kind of a disc that you're going to draw any newcomers to the 4K format in. This is um, just a disc that, uh, it, yes, it is an upgrade over the Blu-ray, but a lot of people aren't going to notice the difference. So bear that in mind. 
when you go to watch it. The film itself, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. It's, like I say, it's very fun, very enjoyable. Um, I recommend everyone sees it, whether they buy it on, buy the disc or watch it on a streaming service or wait for it on TV or whatever. I, it is a fun movie and I recommend everyone sees it. And as for the disc itself, if you're a collector, of course, buy the 4K. And like I say, I bought the steel book and it looks like a book and I showed you more about the uh the casing i had in my uh collection video from that i did when i first started the channel but uh the 4k aspect of it really if you're a collector yeah go ahead but um if not the the blu-ray would probably work fine for you most people aren't going to be able to tell that much of a difference here but thank you so much for watching um I hope you enjoyed the content of this video, and if you did, be sure and give me a like and consider subscribing to my channel so that you know when the next video drops. Um, feel free to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Just look up Bob the Film Guy, and this is Bob signing off until next time. Thank you.